it's your boy Bean from the Wolf Pack, and I'm here with another video. First off, thank you for getting us to 200 subscribers. We appreciate every single like, view, comment, and subscribe that you guys give us. So thank you. Now, we have a review for Ant-Man. The footage of the boxed version was accidentally deleted, but we have the out-of-box footage, so stay tuned for that. What's up, guys? And we're back here with Senor Scott Lang. It's a sir for our friends down to the south. Okay, so let's start out with, here he's in his, uh, I call this the Top Gun Maverick pose, got his cocky smirk and his, uh, and his helmet underneath them. Um, let's start with the uh, all the details. It's getting real tight. The scope, I believe, is a brand new brand new scope for this uh, for this guy. There's tons of detail. There's you can see the uh, just the lines in the. It's, I guess they're trying to synthesize leather here, but it's all the way through. I mean, his butt's even got shine. Uh, another thing I like is the uh, the paint scheme. They go from black to red to black to back to red to black so many times that I mean it's for the for the work that they had to do it's a it's a good scope there's a little QC issue here when you when you start moving around the joints um, there's a uh, there's a light paint wash at the bottom of his cheeks giving him that Scott Lang five o'clock shadow it, for the head sculpt, he, he he does look like Paul Rudd. Um, he looks a little like a hybrid between Paul Rudd and Peyton Manning. You know, the big forehead. A uh, little side note: Pe Peyton Manning never had a big forehead when he was a uh, when he was a rookie or when he was playing at Tennessee. But as his passing yards grew, so did his forehead. But that's uh that's a story for another time. So we're back with Ant-Man out of the packaging, and there were, there's a few things that I would have liked on this figure that we didn't get. So first is extra hands, because one of the hands is a punching hand, and the other one is one that comes that looks like he's about to hold something but in the box there's no accessories so I would have liked extra hand molds and accessories and next I would have liked boot articulation and that would have made the feet uh, look a little bit better with the artic with the boot articulation but no boot articulation so yeah so, on the unmasked face, he kind of looks like Paul Budd and a mixture of Peyton Manning. And under his cheek, he has a paint wash of like a dark brown or dark gray or brown, something like that. So... Yeah, that's really cool. And then the helmet head in the box, uh, it looks like Scott is holding the helmet, but there is no paint sculpt, no um, head sculpt in there. It's just plain helmet. There's nothing even in there, so... It actually is a helmet. So, yeah, that's really cool. Because most helmets, they actually do have a head sculpt. So, that's nice. And this is what he looks like when he has the helmet on. So, this is what he looks like when he has the helmet. And so, it looks really cool. Because of all the designs they put on him. 
my B antennas back here. Although I would have liked them not to be bent by the arm, which is um, pretty upsetting because that's the antennas are kind of cool on the suit. But so with the articulation, he has side to side, slight up and down, ab crunch. You can go down that much and that much. If you push him up, then this thing appears on his suit. You can move his arms all the way this much. And all the way this much. So he has double jointed elbows. Wrist swivel. Same on the other side. Bicep swivel double jointed elbows and wrist swivel you have thigh swivel double jointed knees there is a paint scuff right here but it is covered by the knee pad so it doesn't matter as much as other um, paint scuffs but yeah there's Side to side for the feet, up and down. Same for the other side. No paint, um, mess ups there. Side to side, up and down. I would have liked articulation at the boot. It would have made the foot um, go in more directions than it is without it. So I would have liked that. Another thing is, I would have liked accessories, because you have the hand that you can put stuff in. So those are the things I would have liked. And now let's talk about the Colobsidium leg. Although we're not, talk we're not doing the review for him. So the leg looks like an alligator with armor which is really cool. And he also looks like a crocodile, or a, a dinosaur actually, with his, um, with his feet, which are really cool. And yeah, I really like the leg. I would have liked it more if the Build-A-Figure would have been like the actual MCU Call Obsidian. Oh no. Also, too, the belt right here can move up and down. It is not attached to the suit. It's movable. You can turn it around in all ways. You can pull it up. You can pull it down. So, yeah. See ya later. Bye.